All right, all right, all right. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to make a quick YouTube video about how I'm using my Xbox One controller to control Dead Drop slash Project Moon. I had to actually put a controller figuration together, so I actually went through and mapped it and made it work. And in the last hour, I've had like several people DMing me trying to figure out how I did this. So instead of trying to walk everybody through it, like individually, <laughs> one by one, <laughs> I'm just gonna make a video that everyone can follow along with. I will put the link to my controller profile in the description so you can click on it and download it. <clears throat> this is how it works. I do not know if this is gonna work with a PlayStation controller or any other controller you got. I'm using it on an Xbox One controller, but this is how this works, peeps. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Open up Steam, right? Once you've got Steam open, you're gonna hit view. You're going to go to big picture mode or not. That's cool, Steam. Let's try it one more time. Maybe if I click it twice. Oh yeah, see, the second time's the charm. <clears throat> big picture mode pops up. I hate big picture mode, but here we are. We hit settings and then controller settings. And then in here, you get to pick what kind of controller you have. If you have a PlayStation controller or Pro Switch Pro controller, go ahead. I don't I don't think it, th those controllers are gonna work with the profile that I made because I made it for an Xbox controller. I'm sorry, I don't have a PlayStation controller to mess around with this on. I have an Xbox One controller. So anyway, as long as your Xbox One controller is already uh, connected to Windows, whether it be whether it be through a USB cable or through Bluetooth or whatever, it should show up down here. So you're gonna check this box for Xbox configura configuration support. Make sure that detected controllers actually sees your controller. There it is, my Xbox One controller. At this point, we're set with this. We hit the back button, hit back again, and then we are going to hit the power button up here and we are going to say exit big picture. And we're gonna go back to regular Steam. Now here's the trick, peeps. You're gonna click on library and <clears throat> you'll see that the moon.exe is already in my library. It's not going to be in your library because it's not a game that you downloaded from Steam. What you're going to go down what you're going to do is you're going to go down to this left corner here, bottom left corner, add a game, add a non-Steam game, right? And then you're going to hit the browse button and then whoop, let's bring this over here. You're going to go to the folder where you have moon.exe installed. You're going to select it and then you're going to hit open. I already have it in my thing, so I'm not gonna hit open. I've already done this before. <clears throat> and then this little button right here that says add selected programs will not be grayed out because you will have selected moon. You'll hit add selected programs and it will add it to your Steam library, right? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the link that I put uh, in the description for the Steam uh, controller profile that I made. I've already created it and I've shared it. The link should open up in a web browser. The link looks like this. I have it on my clipboard. It's this controller config slash moon slash all these numbers. You'll hit enter. It'll say a website wants to open this application. You're gonna say open Steam. Ba -ba -bam, and there it is, dead drop hypnotic, right? I've got all this stuff. I figured it all out. I got it all mapped out to the best of my ability and I'll show it to you functioning in the game in a, in a minute. <clears throat> but what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit apply configuration yeah. And once you've done that, you can hit done. Boom. I'm going to close this web browser. And now within Steam on Project Moon, I'm going to come over here and hit this little settings wheel on the right. I'm going to go to manage controller layout. Ba -ba -da -da, and you'll see it says dead drop hypnotic. Um, if it doesn't, if this doesn't say, if this isn't, if you don't see the profile that I made, if it doesn't say dead drop hypnotic by hypnotic, then what you're going to do is you're going to hit browse configs which I, for some reason, can't do right now. There we go, browse configs, and then you're going to go to one of these tabs. It might end, I don't know where, after you save it, I don't know where it ends up. I'm the one who created it and shared it, so I don't know which tab it ends up in after you download it. It'll either be in personal or community or one of these tabs, you'll see it. It'll say dead drop hypnotic. You're gonna click on it. You're gonna hit apply configuration, and then yeah, yeah, you'll hit done. <clears throat> Once you've got that set, you have to launch Project Moon or Dead Drop, 
I got to start calling it dead drop. You got to launch it from Steam for this to work. If you just launch it from the folder you installed it in or from a desktop shortcut, it won't work. In order to use the Steam controller profile that I created, you have to launch the game from Steam. So I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to hit play from within Steam. Get this sweet, sweet menu music. I'm going to remix the shit out of this in Ableton. I'm going to add such an epic beat to this. But anyway, once the game loads up, black screen, black screen, loading, 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 loading. Come up the elevator. Got my Xbox One controller. I'm just going to show you that I'm not bullshitting you. Like this, this works. <clears throat> if you did it right, it works. And uh, I'm just going to kind of go over what I was able to accomplish. So you can move around with the left stick. You can click the left stick in and sprint. Uh, right stick changes like your point of view or whatever. The E, e button on the keyboard is mapped to X like it would be in any other shooter. Hold, you hold it down to pick up. Um, if I fire the weapon, then all I have to do is tap the button to reload. Otherwise, holding the button is set to interact with things like the button on the shooting range and picking up the gun. So now if I run up here, da -da 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 -da, I'm actually going to bypass this range and just go straight up here to this situation. Come up these stairs. Rolling hot. Wow. <laughs> I'm losing. I'm down to 30 frames per second. Rest in peace. <laughs> when I'm running this game on uh, without using OBS, without screen recording, it runs like twice as many frames per second. But now that I'm screen recording in OBS, it doesn't like it. But uh, okay. So anyway, B button is crouch like it should be in any other shooter. Uh, what else did I figure? Okay. So the ADS, I find this took a little while, but I finally got this mapped out. The ADS, if you hold it, it ADSs, and then if you let go of the left trigger, it snaps back. That was the hardest one to figure out because it was set up kind of like mouse and keyboard or whatever. And if you just clicked it, it would stay down and you had to click it again to get it to come back. But at this point, the ADS works properly. Uh, if you reload the weapon and then you try to use the ADS immediately while re like in the reloading anima animation, it gets messed up. See how I'm not holding it anymore, but now I am ADS. I can't do anything about this. I can't, I can't fix that. So just remember that after you reload the weapon, you have to wait for the animation to finish before you use the ADS again. It just is what it is. Uh, and then the left button on the directional pad changes the rifle to single shot. You can hit it again and get like the full automatic. And I think that's pretty much it. That's all the controls we, we have for, for this game. Yeah, that just... Remember that if you reload the weapon, you have to wait for the animation to finish before you ADS again. Otherwise, the ADS gets flipped. It gets, like, messed up on the... If you tap the button a few times, it'll correct itself and it'll fix. Um, but that's it. Uh, I hope I did a good job of explaining this uh, because I've now gone through it in my DMs with, like, four or five individual people, and I thought just making one video would make it a hell of a lot easier. So, yeah. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter or Discord. Send me a DM, and I'll... Uh, Try to help you out the best that I can. Okay, bye!